Hello everyone, my name is Lord Dragon. Welcome to this recording. This is my first recording, so this is going to be a complete test. So I have set this so that there are no zombies that spawn, as this is going to be a test, so I'm going to be recording this, uh, I don't know, about an hour or so, and then afterwards I'm going to go back over it and see if it is to my liking. Now there will be times I will be very quiet, and other times I will be talking. It's something I'm working at. I'm not very good at talking when I play games, unless I'm playing games with a friend. this, mostly because I want to, I'm expanding my horizons a bit, and with that being the case, uh, as I said, this is going to be fully experimental. I'm not streaming this, because this is going to be a full experimental. Shift. Okay, and since there's no zombies, I can just kind of lollygag and just go around most of the time. Well, for the most part. Make sure it's all working. All working. Now the reason why I have the camera on this side is because I do not want the room to be visible for this recording. That there'd be no point in having. Oops. Okay, now the next thing I need to do is get wood. passed by. But once you get a stone axe, this game is a hell of a lot easier. Stone axe, which I need. Now time to collect some wood. zombies and whatnot this game, it's just kind of like Minecraft there without all the mobs.
if you play this game on console, it's going to be fundamentally different than it is on PC, which I'm playing now. With this, on the console versions, you would, uh, used to, at least in the PC version in the past, you used to be able to get, uh, possibly tires from that, but it was always a small chance. that are not familiar with this game. On the console version, or the older version of this game, if you're playing on PC, you used to get clay, but only on brown splotches on the ground. Now, on this version right here, which is a more up-to-date version, Occasionally a glitch out on me like that, but it's because I'm moving too fast and the game needs to play a little catch up to make it work. Now I'll probably do another recording session later today. Because I just I haven't been really feeling like streaming. Just haven't been feeling it. Feeling like that for a month or so, actually. It is something I am working on. So I just need to gather feathers then, okay? So far, I haven't seen. Oh, speaking of crap, I thought that was a nest. Hmm, what the? Don't I have all the stuff for a regular shovel? Oh, I do. Trick and footing. Okay. Um, one thing you, well, you can do a lot of things on the PC version compared to, uh, like the console version. One thing that you can do is, even though I started this off with no enemies that spawn, I can actually go back in later, if I wish, and change that so that they will spawn. So I can actually build up a really nice base and then turn on the zombies. Now, generally, the blood moons and all that correspond with generally the zombies will cause. Wait, what? Oh, oh, I'm right next to. Okay, well that makes sense. Now, oh, can I harvest this or not? I can. Nice. Now, I'm only going to be doing about 45 minutes of recording here, so... Oh, there's more down below. Nice. Now, on the PC version, like this one, you can literally dig just about anywhere and you get clay. On the bottom right, you see like a blue circle-like thing? That's clay. And you can get clay just about anywhere except for the snow and sand biomes, I believe. Now, when it 
comes to a base and blood moon, based on how you have the settings set up, you well, it'll mean different things. Normally, with zombies, you'd come in here and you'd find a couple zombies spawned out here or there. But, got cloth fragments from that. But, with that being the case, Because there's no zombies, there's really no point in me gathering a bunch of certain things like resources, but other than like food. And that's about all you really need to collect if there's no threats. Now, right click is to repair, right click is to swing. If you have a weapon, say club, right click is a power attack, like that, or that. And if you break those, you can get wood, and there's a couple other things you can get from that. Uh, not that. There we go. Now, the main thing you need to level up is you get experience from doing various things. Generally killing zombies is the fastest way to go about it. But because there's no zombies in this mode, occasionally you will find houses and like doors will lock. So you either have to break the door down or you have to find an alternate way around. Like for instance, uh, that way it's going to take too long. So in this case here, yeah, you're just going to have to break through like this. And if there's any zombies, instead of breaking the door down, you can just break this out. And then the zombies will come here, attacking this, that, or that, trying to get to you. But because there's no zombies, I don't have to worry about that. Now, when you start off this game, you are literally naked. You have no clothes. Now, with the loot on this game, the loot is completely randomized. The ward is completely built from scratch for the most part. So, effectively, you have to... Damage. On the PC version like this, you can do all kinds of things with the that the, you can't do on console. The console is very finicky, to put it lightly. I like, don't get me wrong, I like playing on console, but I do not, however, like the fact that... The main thing I don't like is the fact that, uh... The main thing I don't like is the fact that, uh... Ah, I'm putting that on the wrong thing. And that's how you change the coloration. All the dye on here does is mostly for cosmetical reasons. That's it. Does not hold any specific meaning, like I made that red. Now it's red. I made the head thing of a different color as well. So, I generally when you're looking for a base, this house here, because this right here is, well, screwed, you don't want to find a place like that unless you literally want to build it up. Generally, the type of place you want to find is kind of like this, well, in a way, or that building over there. Generally, the best place is to that uh, is a place that's well fortified. Now, when you're looting houses, major thing you want to look for is like these bookshelves, bookcases. You can get a bunch of guys, uh, stuff like this that'll teach you a bunch of things. Like this teaches me how to um, make. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, iron tool schematics, but it allows me to learn like certain iron tools. Um, I guess I should really uh, describe myself more. I'm not very good at talking about myself, so I'll just make it brief. I am a demon from Kelsenheim Circle, to those that are not familiar with that, which everyone should be. In other words, I am a demon from hell, that due to various circumstances is trapped in this plane that we find ourselves in. Hmm, it's funny, I closed the door and I was able to walk through it. And due to various circumstances, I'm now in this plane that we find ourselves in. And because of that, I can't go back to my real home. I'm stuck here in this plane for the time being. I am prone to things like depression and other shit like that. Just like anybody else's. I'm not perfect by any means. I never once ever claimed I was perfect. And those that say that they're perfect, they're bullshitting you. Generally, the ones that say, oh, I'm perfect, they're not by any means. I want those kids. For anyone new come up here, this is generally going to be unlocked. Sometimes it's not, and you have to break through or find an alternate way up. Doing the old Minecraft style is one way to do that. Oh yeah, um, that'll occasionally happen unless you reinforce blocks. And the ones that break are always random. See? Always random. It really all varies on the... I think your character's weight, how much is in your inventory, stuff like that. Oh, left control is crouch. Oops, that's not what I meant. I meant to scrap you, drop you, drop you, drop you, and drop that. Because I don't like to have a bunch of shit in my inventory at once, unless I'm looting like I am now. And when you loot houses, you literally have to look over every little nook and cranny because there are a bunch of shit in houses and whatnot. If you find like a little, uh, like how that piece of metal was warped or something like that, generally about half the time there's something behind it. Now up here would actually be a pretty damn good spot. Just, you know, for a starting base, I guess. Or for a starting spot. Because even though these fell, you can do this, which will prevent them from breaking should you step over them. The thing with this is you can aim down and you can hit zombies and whatnot. Now one of the better places to put on that side that I just repaired. So generally speaking, one thing you could do is, because they will follow generally the path you take, unless you can find an alternate way up. And when it comes to like building games like this, I'm not exactly picky or anything like that. Oh wait. And upgrading them, makes it so that zombies can't break in. The only thing to keep in mind is, and this is something I learned by watching Patrick Static. Uh, while watching Patrick Static, Salty Boy, streams and whatnot, is, is going to what? Uh, I apologize. Just trying to move this thing, and it likes to catch on every fucking thing. Thanks. 
sure that's in the right spot. Uh, there we go. Now, with the birds, particularly if you're in the desert, from what I've heard of Patrick Static and whatnot, they will attack you, the birds will, if you're injured. Uh, but I don't know how concrete that is. Oh, another thing you can do is kind of like this. You can create like an archery spot where you can shoot at them. Still don't have fucking feathers. And uh, typing in like that, or it's a lot easier to find things. Um, I'll do six, I guess. And with these, and there's are, like other things other than just basic blocks like this, but uh. Oh, wait. Is that. Did I not need that many? Uh, I didn't. Well, for the most part, anyway. Like, I made this purposely a archery spot. Hmm. Oops. To make this a proper archery spot, you can just do this. This allows you to climb up on the roof. Which, if they're able to get on the roof, you're kind of screwed, but... Oh shit. You can also fall off the roof if needed. I don't generally record on PC very often. Just. I did for a bit to test it out, and I find it to be quite annoying. I prefer to like, stream on console. To me, it's a hell of a lot easier, but easier is not always better. I mostly have an Xbox and a PlayStation because I have some of my mods I play games with, two of them to be exact. And... But I don't play games with them. Like... I don't know, I guess I'm kind of picky about who I play games with, but... I want to get to the point where I actually have people, you know, if I contact, like, say, five people and they say, well, sorry, we can't because we're busy, I can then turn around and go to five other people and say, hey, you know, I'm playing this, would you guys want to join me? You know, just, I, I guess the basic thing is I don't exactly have a lot of friends. I have people that I guess that consider me a friend, uh, leather. Um, I really need to get rid of that because that's really annoying. Whenever I try to do stuff, it pops up at the worst times. Oh, and if you see the barn locks is I'm encumbered on the PC version, there's such this thing as like pack mule, which is under strength. What pack mule does is that it allows you to open your inventory space more, which, you know, you'll need points when you need to level up and the points will be right up here. What? Oh, okay. And when you explore houses on this game, you 
will find a bunch of odd things. Like this is actually pretty easy to spot. If you can get your pointer just right, you can get it, or you can just break the top of it. Now, when I play this game, I like to have the loot abundancy up compared to down. Like, uh, I don't know if there's something there or not, so. The best way to know is to break it and then look. Sometimes it's hidden behind things, under things. Like, you gotta thoroughly look. Like, there's two ways down here. Make that three ways down here. But this way, this probably leads to like an outside. See, like this won't let you, you actually have to break out of here. And which, as you can see, that's gonna take a while. Or if you have the right tool, it makes it a lot easier. Like this led to a shed. A shed of garage or something like that. Like, I didn't know a shovel broke that. And then, see, lead should here. You'll occasionally find houses that do that. And if you see something on the loop you don't want, you gotta drag it out. Other words, when the loop respawns, if you have that option on, um, that will respawn because it's something you looted and it's still indicating that it's there. Now, if I had zombies on, this whole thing would be a better name. Now, this can collapse on you, but this would be a good runway. 